And a New Orleans high school student is dead after police say he was shot last night in the St. Rock neighborhood. The Warren Easton freshman is now the second student at the school to die within about two weeks. Mike McDaniels joining us live from the school on Canal Street with what we know about this latest shooting. Mike. Hey there, school leaders released a statement today saying the Warren Easton community is truly heartbroken over this. Just take a look at the school sign behind me. There's a tribute up there to another student who was shot just late last month. Now a similar tragedy as this community and another family try and deal with what happened. A Monday night shooting in New Orleans has left a second freshman from Warren Easton Charter High School dead. Family members of 15 year old Tyler Ellis were too shaken to go on camera. They did release photos of the young athlete who was a member of the football team and on the honor roll. Police say just before 9 o'clock they got a call about a shooting on St. Rock Avenue. Family members say it happened at a home where Ellis lived. When officers got there, they found out someone already took Ellis to the hospital. He died shortly after. His death comes after the January 29th shooting death of 15-year-old freshman Kennedy Belton, who was killed in the Little Woods community after a weekend sleepover. Police arrested 19-year-old Andre Skinner in that case, who, according to court records, was handling a gun when it went off. That is a sad situation. For Warren Easton parents like Chantel Myers, who didn't want to go on camera, losing two students from the same school is tough. She was waiting to pick up her ninth and 10th grade daughters Tuesday afternoon. It hurts the kids. Um, the last student that passed away, my daughter, she was real upset and she still hurt behind that situation. So I can only imagine her hearing that new information today. I can only imagine how she feels now. Police haven't released any circumstances surrounding the shooting that killed Ellis and family members say they're still trying to figure out what happened as well. Counselors are available for students on campus who may need some support services, and we reached out to the New Orleans Police Department pretty much all day, just trying to get a better understanding of what exactly happened surrounding the shooting. We've not heard back. But live from Warren Easton, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.